This is Jonathan McNamara of the American Red Cross in Richmond, Virginia, and we're here at our office at Emerywood Parkway because we have got a ton of questions from you on social media about what has recently occurred here in the Commonwealth with the American Red Cross acquiring the assets of Virginia Blood Services. And to help you have the best possible donor experience, we want to answer those questions because we know your gift matters, and the person to do that is Bernadette Jay. So Bernadette, if I'm watching this video and I'm asking, what's occurred over the last couple of months here in Virginia? What's the answer? Yeah, so that's a great question. So as you mentioned, on November 1st, 2018, the American Red Cross acquired the assets of Virginia Blood Services. Um, so basically this means that uh, opportunities to donate life-saving blood, platelets under the Red Cross name have expanded across Virginia. The Red Cross is now the primary blood provider for hospitals in Virginia. And we look forward to partnering with blood drive hosts, blood and platelet donors to ensure hospital patients have access to life-saving blood products products that they depend on. Which is fantastic. And if I've donated, whether it's with the Red Cross or Virginia Blood Services in the past, what does this all mean to me my next time I have a donor experience? So first we want to thank you for donating with the American Red Cross. Um, those helping to save lives for the first time through the Red Cross will need to manually uh, be entered into our system, which takes a little bit longer. But once your information is entered into the system, the next donation won't take as long. Um, and to expedite the donation experience, please make a donation appointment and complete a rapid pass. Now, rapid pass allows you to read through the pre-donation materials and answer health history questions questions on the same day before you come to donate. Another question we've seen on social media, and it's an obvious one. So if I've donated in the past, will my donation history transfer over to the Red Cross? So not automatically. What happens is we'll need to create a new uh, donor profile with the Red Cross in our system. But here's the good news. Um, if you know your donor record, we'll honor it. Um, please call 1-855-210-1278 or email customercare at redcross.org for assistance. Now, another question I know I've gotten, I've got at the grocery store and a couple other places, is what is the difference between when you donate to the Red Cross and what you've done in the past? One great way when you donate with the Red Cross is your blood donation not only supports patients in the year in the Commonwealth, but it also supports the broader mission of the Red Cross, our disaster relief, our service to the armed forces, and that's an amazing gift. So I'm watching this, I'm inspired, I have all the answers to my questions now, and now I want to give a donation. I know we've got beautifully here on our Bloodmobile <laughs> how you can sign up, but if I want to donate, what do I do? Yeah. So there's three ways. So you can download our blood donor app. Um, if you have your phone out, just text the words blood app to 90999. Um, you can always go on our website, redcrossblood.org. There you put in your zip code. If you have a sponsor code, you can put that in. If you don't like the apps, you don't like the website, uh, you can always call us at 1-800-RED-CROSS and we'll schedule an appointment for you. Awesome. Well, Bernadette, thank you as always. Always answering questions. Great resource. <laughs> and we want to thank you as always for your support of the American Red Cross, whether it's on the blood side, whether it's on the humanitarian side, your support is the lifeblood of what we do each and every day here in the Commonwealth. And as always, for the latest information and updates on the American Red Cross here in Virginia, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at VA Red Cross.